What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and it is 3.13 p.m. on Sunday, February 8th, and that means that the weekly winners are determined in 37 minutes from now, or no, 47 minutes from now. But we are number two in the ladder, so we're going to queue up and try to get number one back. Um, Donkey is rated 1970. I'm 1967. Uh, so one win should be push us into the number one spot uh trying to steal it from him to get our 12th number one weekly winner badge so i'll be back when a match is found all right found a match it is against guido fubini not who i want to face right now he is a very strong member of the badger guild and we could very well lose this match but i'll definitely get gain more than more than the three rating uh, if I win. So this starting hand is decent. I have a turn. Oh, he's order. Uh, this. All right. I'm gonna keep the starting hand against order. I think I can get rid of the wings warder. Doesn't really protect much. Protects against like pother and yeah. So I want to play. So I have a turn two, three, four, five plays. Okay, he has an Asian Knight on turn 2, which isn't a huge threat. I'm going to hold on to the Pother, and I'm going to play the Squire. Just because the Squire is the one with 2 attack, so it will actually make a meaningful attack. Um, I can get. I do value Duke of in more than Squire, but um, if I'm going to play them both, I'd rather have the Squire attack first, considering it has more attack than Duke of It can get up to 3 attack. So hopefully we don't see like a skirmisher come down. Well, there's a skirmisher. And I guess I'll ooh, real skirmisher of my own. Well, I think I'll be playing that. I kinda wanna play Duke of Infantryman, so there's three attacks if he moves down, but the he would move down both of these. So I'm gonna get rid of the Duke of Infantryman and play a royal skirmisher of my own and play it I mean I play it in the back just because he could have like a roasted bean potion but he could just kill this then I don't know uh oh so hopefully he doesn't move down and try to kill us I do have a pother in my hand so if he plays like a gallant defender in front and moves down I should be able to kill the aging knight that's not what I want. I want him to stay away from me so I can build up my board. Who went first in this match? I don't remember. He sacrifices for scrolls. He's only at three resources. That could end up being a big mistake for him. It wasn't. <laughs> I mean, that's not the worst thing. I mean, yes, he kills two of my scrolls. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm not going to be too upset about that. I mean, he had to sacrifice the scrolls there, and uh, he paid two scrolls to kill two of my scrolls. So it's not like a bad, a bad, a real bad trade for me. I wish he didn't. Do, I, wish, I wish he didn't have the scrolls to do that. But now he's kind of off my tail, and my and uh, the skirmisher's not as much of a threat right now. I'm going to be able to get the this skirmisher and this vanguard going off. They won't be on the same countdown. Okay, Wing Soldier, he still sacrificed for scrolls. So I'm going to be up to 5 now. Um, I would love to keep that. I think Pother is just really, really useful. I will go like this. I'm going to stay here. He doesn't have a lot of resources to make big plays. I'm hoping I can get a Pother down next turn to have this Skirmisher kill something. Uh, we'll see. Well, he Pothers it up. Hold on, maybe he had like... Some kind of attack buff. Is he going to move up with everybody? I don't know. Because the pother up is still... It's still bad for me. Because now you're not, like, threatening the middle, the middle lane. Okay, well, I'm going to pother this and get the two-thirds chance, I think. Oh, I can actually blessing of haste to you and give you more. Well, I'm going to go for the pother. Come on, two-thirds chance. Nice. And Gaunt, I could just go to six and play the Gallant Defender. I'm going to do that. Okay, looks like I've recovered nicely from the beginning of the match. 
Yep, I like how this is going now. Yeah, it wasn't really optimal skirmisher placement on his part. Um, it wasn't like if if he has like sc like scrolls to really punch me this turn, he couldn't even really do so. Uh, be a skirmisher is off the lane. So yeah, it's looking good. I have six resources now. He has more scrolls than me. I'm going to be top decking. Okay, he's just gonna run away. And he plays a skirmisher of his own. Okay. Wing shield we'll get rid of. Aging Knight, Blessing of Haste. Hmm. Not really the draws I wanted there. I wanted something like a flip. Uh, I could Aging Knight, Blessing of Haste down here. That's like a two for one trade. Problem is, I almost feel like I have to move into the middle of the board because he's going to be able to just take down middle idol. You know what? All right, I'm just gonna put the aging knight. Hmm. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to move this this into the middle, and then play this here. So I'm denying him being able to destroy the middle idol. And if he wants to move up and kill that, then he'll be facing the Wrath of the Skirmisher. And I have a Blessing of Haste uh, to really increase the attack of both Asian Knight and the Skirmisher. Uh, with the Vanguard, of course. So now I hope he doesn't have the tools like Flips and Pothers to somehow kill the Skirmisher. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to destroy both the Vanguard and the Skirmisher. We will see. These temp tempo order mirror matches are really, really tense. Every play can just do so much. The Yacht Defender does have armor too. Um, unless he kills one of his units or something. And... So as it stands, without any kind of buffs, if he moves all his creatures on this row, he still doesn't kill this Yacht Defender. Royal Spearman, interesting. Maybe that's because of all the growth in this meta. Well, that's not going to kill him unless he moves the infantryman up. He needs six attack to kill him. So, all right, that's gonna die now. Hmm. Now I really want some kind of flip or something. I really these skirmishers. Roller us, roller us, roller us. Well, the thing is, I don't really need the blessing of haste. This turn, I don't need to have more attack. So I'll get rid of the Blessing of Haste. Okay, let's get a flip, please. Pother. Um, it looks like we're going to go for a Pother play. I'll go Roller Ross, Pother. Um, deal a bit of extra damage. I'm going to Pother Yield. I'll have a, a one-third chance to kill it. And um, a two-third chance to get it out of my way. So either way, it's a good thing. Hopefully I can kill it, though. And... I don't know, I'll go like, yeah, I'll go like this, alright, it goes away, and now I guess I will simply go like this, alright, so now I want a countdown reduction in my hand, so, I, so yeah, this is, uh, moving him over is really nice, so he's not really threatening my guys. He goes, to five, he, five, he goes to 5 now. It's nice I've been able to stay above him in the resource curve. Alright, so if he's running away, that's good. And he goes with a Vanguard. Alright. Decimation is pretty good at lowering all their health. So I might want to keep that, especially because it's a spell. Hmm. I am Yeah, because if I get like a Rosa Bean potion with the decimation that'd be good. I'm gonna get rid of the crossover. Okay, uh 
Do I want to move down with the Vanguard and kill you? I think I'm going to. I think if I, I'm controlling the middle of the board and I'm relatively, relatively safe. He's going to be able to kill this, but then I get to play a wing shield in front, but I kind of want to play a Vanguard. I don't know. Oh, you know, we're going to protect you actually. Yeah, we're going to engage. We are going to engage. You have one thing attacking. I have more things attacking. I'm just going to play this wing shield. Uh, I'll keep you there, I guess, and really try to give it to him. So now, worst thing that could happen to me this turn is like he gets Blessing of Haste or Rose Beat on both of these guys, um, or somehow he clears this lane, but then I have all these guys attacking. So I think I'm on a good spot. Um, didn't really use my resources that efficiently last turn. I could have played a Vanguard instead of the Wing Shield. Um, maybe I should have done that and just kept it in the front row anyways. Because these both Vanguard and Wing Shield essentially have 5 health. I don't know. We'll see. He needs, he needs like Pother or Flip or something. And Blessing of Haste and Focuses to really do much of an impact. And I can do a lot of L damage really quickly. Uh, with that Relaros and all the attacking creatures. Just couple trouble spells, and you'd be surprised how much idle damage is amassed. Especially if I can get like a countdown reduction for this Vanguard. Okay, he goes for scrolls, and what are we gonna see? So if I win this match, it could just mean it might be as simple as if I win this match, I uh, get number one weekly winner, and if I lose, I get number two weekly winner. Okay, so he's going to he's going to kill this. Unless he has a focus. A focus would, cl would not clear the rock actually because he has four health. Alright, so I'm fine with that. I guess I sh no, I, I guess I I don't know. If that's the whole turn, I'm fine with that, I think. Alright, and then yeah. Okay. I am in good shape, I think. Yep, good shape. So I will be able to clear this out. Can I get you up to decimation? Decimation, I can get you to four attack. Uh, and yeah, that's good. All right, we're gonna get a board clear, I think. I think. Pother. I think a flip works better. I don't know. I may, I might not be playing the the best play here, but I think it's what I'm supposed to do. So decimation and um, then I guess I could flip and that's the board clear. All right. So at this point, I basically won. I have more resources than him. And he's going to go ahead and surrender. So, GGWP uh, to Guido Fubini. And it might not be number one yet. Uh, I'll see if Donkey... Uh, third, oh, yeah, 13 ratings quite a bit um, for somebody high ranked. Wow, I'm 1980. I think that's the highest... Is that the highest I've been since uh, this latest ranked reset thing? I don't know. But Donkey74... Has a bit over a half hour to get to get a uh, ten rating. Is he spectating me? No, it doesn't look like he was spectating me. All right, well that'll be it for. Oh yeah, um, I the deck guide video. Some people have been suggesting that. Uh, yeah, I just did actually a deck guide video for this temple order deck. So if you didn't see that, um, you want to check it out and find that on my channel. And people have been saying maybe I should do a. Uh, match with the deck at the end of the video, kind of like what Blinky does in his deck guide videos. And that's a good idea, but I kind of want to keep the deck guide videos really short as they have been. And and uh, I have tons and tons of matches. Like, Blinky doesn't have as many just normal ranked match videos as I do, so that's why he puts them at the end of his videos, uh, a play, a, a match with the, with the deck. So, but you can find, like, tons of uh, matches with all of my ranked decks on my channel. Um, and the ranked matches, I have, like, 70 ranked match videos. But I think I'm going to go ahead and look through them all and better 
title the titles, like where it says like what deck I'm playing in the title. Um, I'll try to do that so it's easier to track down certain matches you want to find because now there's like 70 rec match videos. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And that'll be it for today. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.